Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I've got a couple extra guys that have been signed overnight. Uh, we got four years, $60 million for Mitchell Robinson. You guys have heard me talk a lot about Mitchell Robinson over the last 48 hours. He's been mentioned because we talked a lot about the Knicks, how they got uh, a chance at Jalen Duran and uh, just continued to facilitate him through their organization to the Denver Nuggets. I mean, to the Dallas Detroit Pistons, one of those D teams. And ultimately, uh, I felt like Mitchell Robinson was the reason why they felt that was okay to do that um, because, of course, they have elite shot blocking. And um, so that is what their choice was to do today. They they took uh, $60 million of their cap space and uh, locked Mitchell Robinson up for four years. I think on a basketball floor, you definitely see the fruit of having Mitchell Robinson. Um, I don't know if I see him as a player of that caliber in terms of making that much per year based on his availability and his limitations offensively, but he is an elite shot blocker. So you definitely want him on your team. Here's the only thing is you had Jalen Duran on a rookie contract. <laughs> Respectfully, Mitchell Robinson is not going to be better than Jalen Duran. He's a good player, but he ain't, he ain't going to be Jalen Duran going forward. Should have kept Jalen. I think I think most people will agree with that when they see him play. You should have kept him. But nevertheless, Mitchell Robinson is going to help you uh, with what it is that, that he does, which is be one of the best shot blockers in the game. And uh, as long as he's healthy, he's going he's going to play that contract. He's going to make that a fair contract if he's if he's healthy. Uh, but the issues I have with him is that he just he doesn't. He, my thing with him is he stays healthy for about three weeks, plays really really well, and he's gone for a month. And so if I'm counting on that. If that's what I'm getting every year, sixty million for four for a shot blocker. Nah, for me, not for me. I can see where other people are applauding that. I definitely see it, but for me, that's too steep, too steep for for what it is he brings to the table. In my humble opinion, especially if you're the Knicks and all the stuff the Knicks are doing with cap space, I think we all. Like the consensus agrees that the Knicks are making mistakes right before our very eyes, and we're gonna see him play out, see how it plays out, but. When you commit $170 million to Mitchell Robinson and Jalen Brunson, something has gone terribly wrong. I'm just going to keep it 100% honest. That's all I got to say about that. Bruce Brown is going to be headed to the Nuggets on a two-year deal, $13 million. I like Bruce Brown a lot. In fact, I think he's that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid when you consider the type of role that Bruce Brown has played with the absence of Kyrie Irving, with players missing out of the lineup, no Ben Simmons certain times. Bruce Brown has been a defensive player for them and a guy who goes and gets scoring. Um, has shown pockets at a time where he's broken out and really shown um, the ability to really take on starters minutes and starters roles with starters production. So I like Bruce Brown. He's only getting better. I, I like the moves the Nuggets are making. They've gotten significantly better when you consider what they're bringing back in their star power plus these acquisitions that they've made. Um, I, I'm thinking the Nuggets are going to be a contender for sure, and Bruce Brown's going to be a big part of that. So uh, I don't know what, what's happening with Monte Morris. I think he might be out the door, so Bruce Brown might be replacing him. Um, and I think that's a fantastic role. Those players are comparable in my mind in some ways. So I look at them as in the same lane. You, you, you definitely fixed a problem if he's out and Bruce is coming in. And last but not least, we got Ricky Rubio, uh, who's going to be returning to the Cavs on a three-year, $15 million deal. Ricky played so well to start the season last year. I can totally see why they think this is a solid deal to do. I don't I don't think it's a bad deal. I'm happy for him because he was able to lock up for three years after such a, a, a frustrating goal uh, with last season being such a, a good season for him and then ultimately having an injury issue that removed him from the team so early that you almost forgot how much of an impact he had on the squad. But I did not. He had an all-star caliber first couple of weeks or a month or whatever to start the season. And um, that's what they're rewarding him. They, they couldn't give him the dollar amount that he would have got if he would have stayed healthy and played like that all year. But I think he was able to lock up the years that he was hopeful to lock up, which for a veteran, equally important. So he gets to assure that he stays in the league for at least another three years despite the injury. And I think the Cavaliers got him uh, and feel good about it. They feel good about it. It's just about how he bounces back, but his natural ability to get others involved, the role that they have him playing behind other guards, it makes sense. Um, and you didn't want to lose him. You didn't. You, you Even if his injury issues are <clears throat> going to carry over, you still want what he brings to the table to ultimately be on your team. So 
I like that for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that pretty much concludes the three free agent um, news that I got, the three that I have for you. Uh, at this point, we're still waiting for things to fall uh, into place. I think the Kyrie Irving KD news is obviously what a lot of people are waiting for. Kevon Looney hasn't signed yet. Uh, Zach Levine still hasn't signed yet. Um, and there's still other things that are going on out there that we have to pay attention to. I think Zach is supposed to sign today. I think that's almost imminent. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Ja already signed or, yeah, he agreed to his. So, yeah, we're, we're waiting on Kevon Looney and obviously we're waiting on the Nets to make the big move. So, yeah, once that happens, we'll know what happens from there. DDL44, thank you all for watching.